you're gonna train calves three days a week, let me show you exactly how I'd set that up in structure. All right, guys, we get a lot of questions on MD about, you know, how can I grow my calves? I want to increase the frequency. I know John's a big advocate of, you know, three, four, five times a week training calves. And honestly, if, you know, calves were a problem for me or were stubborn or just really shit, this is exactly what I do to bring them up. So I'm going to train them three days a week and I'm going to do three different techniques and they're going to be drastically different every single week. But day one is I would start with a heavy calf raise. So we're using the donkey one here today. If you don't have it, we're going to show you an alternative or you can always do an alternative. It's just a regular standing calf raise. I honestly don't care. For years, I didn't have access to a donkey and I would just do heavy calf raises as my day one for calves. So what I want you to do here is do a bunch of warm ups. So a couple sets of 15, a few filler sets of six to eight, and then get into your top end load. Today here on this piece, I had 195 pounds on there and I'm going to go six sets to failure hammering that heavy ass load. And I'm telling you, it's not gonna be easy, gut it out. I take about a 90 second rest break between each one of those and just hammer as heavy as you can, try to progress on the stack as you go week to week or progress up in the reps. And then once you reach the top end, about 15 reps, that's when I look to start increasing the load for your first set and then trying to work off of that. And you look at that total reps over the course of the six sets for progression. And then secondly on that day as a finisher is I'm going to do three sets of alternating one leg calf raise. Now the reason I like this is nine times out of ten we always have an imbalance. So for me, for example, my left entire left leg is just more coordinated than my right. It feels more stable, it feels more athletic, and my calf is actually stronger and more stable. And I actually have more ankle mobility in my left leg or my left ankle than I do on my right. So I always do a version of a single leg calf raise. Again, I'm just doing body weight here, but after these three sets, my calves are pretty fucked up, so it doesn't need any more weight. So I'm just doing sets of 10 to 15 here, three sets each leg. And again, try to go down, sink really low, and then come up and getting a full contraction. You know, everyone talks about ankle mobility and prehab and all these fancy stretches and shit. I'm telling you, this is how I maintain ankle mobility, is just doing heavy ass calf raises, getting full range of motion. I, Maybe that's not gonna work for everyone, but that's what worked for me. So that's what I would do day one. If I'm looking to set this up like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule, this is what I would do day one. And uh, again, you can do this at the beginning of your workout or you could do it at the end, however you wanna structure it. But six sets heavy and then three sets on the single leg. All right, guys, if you don't have that fancy donkey calf raise like we have here at Elite, let me show you how to set up this donkey calf raise as a little bonus. So if you look, we have a calf block set below. We have a bar pad on the bar. This is my lower back. If you look, safety stop set so I don't have to worry about flipping the bar in and out of the safeties. It's just going to stay back. And then we have a box set up in front, and that's where I'm going to brace my forearm. So let me show you what a couple reps of this looks like. Day two, back with more basics. The standing calf raise, I'm gonna start there. But today's a superset, or honestly, it's a tricep. I'm not like counting a superset because I'm doing some tibia at the end, but I'm starting, the meat and potatoes of this is the superset of the standing and then the seated calf raise. So we want to think out here is that the standing calf raise, that is nailing my gastroc. So when you get a good stretch, and you get all of my toes get a good contraction, I'm shooting for 10 to 12 there and I'm walking right over to the CD calf raise, exact same thing. But with the CD calf raise, I only want to pay attention to my form. I really control the negative, I get a good stretch, and I like to really explode up on my toes. Like, I saw Jay Cutler doing this years and years ago on one of his DVDs, and it's always felt good. I, I mimicked it, and I was like, man, that feels amazing for my soleus. So I really control the negative, explode up on my toes, 10 to 12 there, and I'm gonna go right into the tibia raise on this really cool Sornex piece. If you don't have a tibia raise, let me just jump over to the wall here and show you what I do. If you notice, my butt is against the wall, my legs are straight, and then all I wanna do is just raise all the way up and take my toes as close to my shins as possible. And I'm gonna do 25 of these. This looks super, super easy, but if you do 25, I'm telling you, it will burn like absolute fire. So the premise of this second day is gonna be back with the basics of exercise, but I'm using a moderate load. So day one is super heavy. Day two is gonna be more of a moderate load. I can go 
moderately heavy, where if I was gonna do uh, just these standalone or do them heavy, I'd probably have hmm, another 25% more load on there, where as opposed to day one, my goal was just max load to really put a ton of stress on those calves. So day two, moderate load, massive pump. All right guys, day three, <laughs> the most agonizing. This will test your heart <laughs> more than any of these, the two days previous. So this is a badass John Meadows trick that he taught me. And what we wanna do is we wanna put two plates on each side of the lay press and you just need a time, your timer on your phone. So all you're gonna do, this is five minutes of hell is the best way to describe it. So we'll put two plates on, we'll crank for a minute. So if you notice here, it's just constant tension, one rep after the other after the other. I'm not really pausing, I'm not really going super slow or super fast, but what I am doing is just keeping constant tension on that calf. So we'll do one minute straight, then we rest for a minute, so one minute off, and we go again, and then we rest for a minute, and then we go again a third time. So that's three total minutes of calf raises with two plates. I'm telling you, the first set will seem pretty easy. The last two, absolute hell. I'm telling you, this will make you sore as hell. So if you like this, I'm telling you, if you like a calf burn, you will love this. <laughs> so three minutes of calf hell to finish up the third day in the week. There you have it three days of calf frequency. We have a heavy day, we have a superset day, and then we have an absolute pump, high rep, just annihilating exercise with a third day. So if you wanna grow big, thick, nasty, like Dorian Yates calves, I'm telling you, this is the secret in my opinion. Three days, all different techniques on each one, utilizing a variety of machines. And I'm telling you, this right here is how, if I was told, if someone came to me and said, man, I need to put two inches on my calves, and I don't care about anything else, this is exactly what I would do with them. I give them a heavy day where they progress up in weight and reps every single week. I'd have a superset day where my goal was just two different exercises, working the soleus and the gastroc, and then I'd have a third day that was just absolute torture. So you could do that with giant sets, you could do it with 100 rep sets, however you wanna do it. But this is the secret, guys. If you want giant fucking calves, this is exactly what I do three days a week to get them as big and nasty as possible. If you like this video, guys, like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, credit TV.